And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we have action from Liga Uber Eats coming right up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Angers. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappé. And a look at the starting lineup for Angers. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. The drama has commenced here in Paris. Hakimi. Neymar. Promising looking ball. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager and that's why he's offside. Bentaleb. And he did well to cut it out. And PSG will have a throw in. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Yes. Oh, big chance here, Derek. And offside by a very small margin. And they have possession again. And Neymar, and he's in. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. And well, they're going for the short one. Ferreira. Surely! In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. And back in business, advantage, PSG. Sofiane Buffal, well-timed tackle. Attacking possibilities for PSG. 
could play it in. Mbappe, crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. He's in control of the situation. And well, they know they need to stop him. Jan Valéry. Bentaleb. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Buffal. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Neymar. On to Messi. Return to Mbappe. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Attending to his defensive chores. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Really vital interception. Fabian. Mbappe. Fabian. And he read it well defensively. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. And let's give credit to the defending. Fabian. Terrific block. And a corner for Paris Saint-Germain. What can they do with it? Taken short. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Kunu did well to win the ball back. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And options in the centre. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Now veering in field. And lining it up. Mbappe. Now Messi. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Struggling to get it away. Marquinhos. Now Messi. Dumbia. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Buffal, offside, a tight one. Well, as the stats tell us, PSG have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and with it have created some great openings. They certainly look as though they get another before too long. 
Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Neymar. Now with Verratti. Good looking sequence. Able to get a body in the way. And Neymar. Oh, he looks threatening. Denied once more. Messi. He takes aim. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Well, the keeper has it, and all is well. Well, it is now, but the striker did everything right, barring a couple of inches. Fabian. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight. So here we go, the start of the second half at the home of PSG, the Pat de Prince. And Neymar showing magnificent vision. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, let's just see this again. What a pass this is from Neymar. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Messi. Nuno Menj. Verratti. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. How about the cross? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And Neymar! On to Hakimi. Messi. Now with Hakimi. Couldn't keep it. Hakimi. On to Fabian. And Neymar, and both hands on it, good goalkeeping. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Chance to reduce the arrears. The well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out. And Neymar has done it! Well, as a defender, you can do as much homework as you like. Sometimes you just can't stop your man.
Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Three goals without reply. Suleiman Dumbia. Effort from long distance. Well hit with power and almost the right precision. Substitution time it is here. Verratti Mbappe and it's a quality pass a goal an exceptional performance this four to the good now well let's take another look at this pass from Mbappe he has so much vision, and what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Twenty minutes to go. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Azadine Unahi. Dumbia. PSG recovering possession well. Well, in the closing phase here, and PSG excelling, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expensive. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of their performance. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Fabian. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, a good diving save. <laughs> and the short option preferred. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Ten minutes left for play. And he's broken free. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And the keeper was up to the task. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the danger still on. Bentaleb, and able to get a body in the way. Pablo Sarabia. Well, the counter chance looks very real. 
And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Buffal. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Kylian Mbappe. Given away again. Oh, a lovely ball. Akimi. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. The electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Bentaleb. And he takes it away. Pablo Sarabia. Hakimi. That's well blocked. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.